In all the oceans of the world, there's no more magnificent fish than the Atlantic bluefin tuna. It can grow to four meters in length, swim at astonishing speeds, and dive more than 900 meters as it migrates between North American and European waters. But in the 1980s and 90s, the Atlantic bluefin went into serious decline, a victim of its own astronomical commercial value and the failure of governments to properly protect it. Bluefin provides the most highly prized sushi in the world. In Japan, a single fish will sell for tens of thousands of dollars. So bluefin fishing fleets have a powerful incentive to ignore catch limits, fish illegally, and not report their catch to regulators. It's been a particular problem in the Mediterranean. The Mediterranean fishery was completely out of control. They didn't even have bluefin quotas until 1998, and even then they didn't follow the quotas. Environmental groups campaigned to change this, and in 2008, catch limits were tightened, and a paper-based reporting and tracking system was put in place to give regulators a clearer view of what was happening. So we commissioned a study to see how the new system was working. We compared the number of bluefin that were reported as caught versus those that are sold on the world market. The Pew Environment Group wanted to know, has compliance with the bluefin quotas improved in the Mediterranean? The answer, unfortunately, was no. In 2008, traded tuna exceeded the catch quota by 31 percent. By 2010, that gap had grown to 141 percent. The cumbersome paper-based catch reporting system is rife with fraud and misinformation. Much of the problem centers on so-called tuna ranches, sea-based enclosures where tuna are transferred live after being caught. Often the counts don't match. Um, you get more fish coming out of the ranches to the market than uh, those that were counted into the ranches. And there are other threats to the Mediterranean fishery, especially in Italy. In Italy, we have the fraudulent reporting and we also have a real problem with drift nets, which entangle all kinds of marine life fish, sea turtles, and so on, indiscriminately, not just the species being targeted. It's been against the law for many years to use these nets for catching tuna and swordfish, but the law just isn't enforced. The Pew Environment Group is urging the European Union to crack down on Italy's illegal drift net users and is asking international regulators at ICAT to do their part as well. This paper-based system has been a failure we need to replace it with an electronic system that allows cross-checking and verification instantly. This should include a barcode, which will allow us to track fish from the ocean to your table. Learn more about threats to the Atlantic bluefin and what we can do to protect it at pewenvironment.org tuna.